afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Instinct Podcast Show with your boy Cornell Brumant, right here, right now, in the Instinct Podcast Show building. And today I'm doing a match review of Lincoln City versus Swindon from last night. Um, before we get into the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, as well, leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about last night's game. So, without further ado, let's get on with the Imps Team Podcast Show. Back again! So, last night we drew 2-2. Um, obviously, the first half um, wasn't our best of games. We conceded in the second minute from a brilliant goal from John McKendrick. From John Ge Garrick, I think. Garrick, um, in the first half, um, two mistakes from Palmer, which is not like Palmer, but we don't want to get too hard on him because it's not fair to criticise just one player for them two mistakes. All goalkeepers are going to make mistakes, you know, it's it's it, it, it's easily, easily done. So, um, listen, um, Palmer has been very consistent for us this season. He has proven to be our best goalkeeper this season with clean sheets after clean sheets. He's kept us in the game. I mean, come on. Would you have seen Josh Vickers save save, save us from, from getting beat down, getting a beat down? I don't think so. Palmer. Palmer is the best goalkeeper for us, Imps. And the criticism that's been going at him, he don't deserve it. Yes, it's nice to criticise a goalkeeper for them to learn, but not that much. And as I said last night, I said Palmer don't need it. Palmer needs backing, he needs support. Palmer don't need this stress right now. Because Palm because pa Alex Palmer has been the best. And he has proven that being our best number one goalkeeper, despite that Ethan Ross has gone out alone, and Sam Long is the next young generation, that things will work out. So let's not go too easy on him. Obviously, we uh, conceded, we got a penalty through none other than George. Bad man, Tim Grant. Scores and does what he always does. And then, of course, you know, another mistake from Palmer, of course, you know, to cost us the game again. Um, um, struggling with his feet, which is unlike him. But, you know, he, he lost his head a little bit. So I, w I wasn't surprised with... And you should have seen the reaction of... of of Michael Appleton. He weren't best pleased because he weren't very pleased with the arrogance display, play, display from that first half. And and you could see the expression. He was very, very angry. He was like the incredible Hulk. Like ready to strike, ready to ready to burst. Um but then of course um we was two one down. I thought I, I liked the way we responded in the second half. And then Ty Eden comes on in the second half and changes the game. And then none other than Morgan Rogers aka Morgan Bossman Rogers scores the winning goal. Bang! And, we, and, and I thought we were going to be in the game. But then unfortunately, we, we concede. And, you know, obviously, you know, it doesn't go our way. So we settle with the point. Right now, we have to go into um, the Plymouth game with expectations. We're not first, obviously, because Peterborough won their game last night against um, against Plymouth Argyle, who we have to play this Saturday. Um... So it's going to be very interesting to see how what lineup he's going to is he going to go with the same lineup or will he play Eden and play TJ Omer on the right and 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 keep it the same? I mean, obviously with with no obviously Jackson and and Scully pulled through and George Grant pulled through, which I'm very pleased about. So at least we got them. But um, it'll be very interesting. So we just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, a point is 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 much more better than than losing. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like and a subscribe to my YouTube channel and also leave a comment down below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. It'd be lovely to hear. Thank you to the 158 subscribers. It'd be nice to get 160. Amazing. Thank you very much. See you on the other side. Up the imps.